Hello and welcome by the Arcade Saga. Today I have a very special unboxing for several reasons. But before I will uh, get to that, uh, this one arrived today and uh, in the mail, and today it's uh, November 22, and uh, so it was on transport for six days, and I think that's okay uh, if we uh, if we uh, see where it comes from. I think um, because it comes from uh, Romania, if I'm correct. And um, yeah, I think you all know the seller in this case, and I think that, therefore it's uh, for uh, the first reason why this is very special because I bought some plants from uh, from Anna Maria from Miracle Orchids, and I think it's very nice because I follow her channel for years, learned so much. So Anna Annabelle, uh, thank you so much for that, for all the information, and uh, also welcome on my channel. It's very special to have you here as well. And uh, that's why I mentioned the, the date, so you know that it uh, was on transport for six days. Um, and I know what's in this box. Uh, that sounds a bit silly, but because most of the times when I order orchids and they came, came in with a mail, I'm not always remember, but this I remember because these are very special. So I'm going to unbox them because they need their air, their, their light, etc. The only thing that I did I was open the box and there was the postage information, so I took that off, of course. So we're going to open the boxes and we will have a look at them of course. I will grab my scissors because I think I need them. I will move the box a little bit to this side so we can have the focus on the plants here when I put them on the table. And this is the first one. It's a beautiful Paphiopillum. Paphiopillum. And this one is very special because this one was uh, originally from Danny, from uh, Miss Orchid Girl. So that's very special. I found it very uh, nice. So now I have also a sort of orchid from, uh, from Danny via uh, Anna, Anna, Anna Maria Miracle Orchids in my collection. And that all uh, for one plant. This, so this one has traveled uh, a lot. And I think it's very special. So let's uh, open this one up. It's in bloom as we uh, can see here. We have beautiful blooms, beautiful color. So that's uh, beautiful. And she did leave them potted up. So to make it easier for them to adapt to my, uh, my uh, environment. So I think that's beautiful. And she gave me also uh, some advice to uh, try to avoid as much shock as we uh, as we can. So thank you Annabelle for that as well. And so yeah, she asked uh, if it was okay to leave them potted up. We, we both uh, work uh, work and uh, work with, we grow in the uh, same hydroponic cell watering. So yeah, that was uh, okay obviously for me, even better. I must admit, so, uh, but I do not have much if, uh, experience with, uh, with sending orchids, so that's uh, why I uh, could use some tips on that. We have some lacquer that did ex escape the pot, which was uh, to be expected. Oops, there was quite a lot of lacquer. I have no idea. Let me Grab this, I have now like all going over the market room. Sorry for the noise you guys. I think now still something left there. So yeah, some air movement would be nice because they are still a little bit wet and damp so I hope they will uh, be okay. I think they will. Um, you know what, I'm going to uh, leave it just for now. We have a little bit of dampness there because this will uh, take a bit too long. So I'm going to only get rid of the plastic here, the bubble wrap, like this and I'm 
The rest I will take off uh, in a minute, but we will. Uh, but so far it also look very beautiful. Leaf still, um, this one is already an older leaf, so that probably will go a bit quicker. And it's in bloom, but it also make is working on two new growth, so that's very beautiful. This one is uh, looking very healthy, so I'm going to uh, move it a little bit, and now it can get some uh, some air around the leaves and, uh, and uh, the roots, etc. The pot. And here we have a next one, and this is the reason why I started uh, messing her because I I'm not sure I have one of these. I think I have one, it's a very small one, but it's a no idea obviously, but this one uh, has an idea, so we now are sure that this one is what it is, if that makes sense. <laughs> and then Annabelle messaged me um, basically saying that she had more orchids uh, for sale, if it was interested in to know which one, and she named a few, and those are in the box, so yes. Thank you so much, because I'm really, really happy that I could buy them from you. As well as this one, but this one is a little bit more common than the ones that are still in the box. And you will uh, know which ones those are in a second, of course. But first this one. Yes, some lekker. Again, I should do probably... Once again, sorry for the noise, but put it in here and then try to unwrap it. So I will not have the lacquer all over the place. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. And it has one little bloom on it. What was going over? This is one little bloom there. This is the yellow bird. And uh, yes, I'm really happy with it. So that's uh, how it started. And I think it had more blooms on it, but it did drop them while uh, in trunks. But I think, I'm not completely sure. Still some uh, spikes left. But it, uh, overall it looks very uh, very good. And now, uh, also for this one it can now uh, get some air again. So let's get over to the other ones, so they uh, can start to breed again. Now we have two very special ones, those are the same. I never buy the same plants normally, but in this case I made an exception because uh, they are so beautiful and so hard to get here in Europe. So yeah, I was very happy that she offered me this, these guys as well. For sale. Very, very, ha very happy. <laughs> so let's get them out of the plastic again. I think so far so good. Look at that beautiful uh, pack. And uh, I don't know if you recognize it, but this is a Ivanagara apple blossom pink. So yeah. I was uh, lucky enough to buy the to have the have the opportunity to buy the Ivanagara, Ivanagara uh, apple blossom golden elf this summer, and then I thought, well, I probably never will find one again, but never give up because now I had the opportunity, like I said, to buy the pink one. Beautiful, and she was uh, showing me the leaves. It had some damage. It had a fall. Um, see, is she? she uh, she dropped the plant, I think. I'm not completely sure. And then she decided to uh, to uh, put some uh, get some divisions from from it. And uh, I, I believe she uh, keeps the mother plant, but she had some divisions for sale. So yeah, very 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 happy with these guys. So let's uh, grab the, the another one because uh, I uh, had the opportunity to buy two, and I thought this is my chance. I really really would like uh, to have two and to see. And maybe one day I can have my own divisions or maybe uh, share this one with another grower or something like that. I don't know, but I, I, I found them so, so beautiful. So yeah, that's why I uh, bought two of them. Like I said, I had the opportunity. So I think uh, I, I was just lucky enough to be one of the first of her. Um, she had a sort of advertisement going on on uh, Facebook. And there goes the more lekker. 
And uh, I was one of the first to uh, figure that out. This was selling some plants. Sometimes you just need a bit of luck, I think. And I am lucky. And those are so special. Having plants for somebody who followed for so long. Yeah, I, I really, really like that. These plants have already a story behind them, which I like. If you know my channel, I keep saying it from time to time. I really do enjoy plants with a, uh, with a story. It makes them extra special. Beautiful division. Looks so healthy. So yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, unpack them completely and then we will have a look at all of them again. And there they are, you guys. So yes, those plants look absolutely beautiful. I see a lot of good roots still on them, uh, Anna Maria, so I think they will be fine. But yeah, like you said, I will give them a little bit of adjustment before I start watering. Maybe by tomorrow I will flush them a little bit with some uh, raw water and some seaweed. And for the rest, uh, yeah, give them a little bit of a rest because they were on transport and they were a, were a little bit cold. I don't think they were too cold, but it was a little bit cold. So they probably need to adjust a little bit more. And uh, I will have uh, some fans running, obviously, and we will have some natural light again, so they can establish a little bit uh, more of it. They can now start to establish, I should say. But uh, yeah, I'm so happy to uh, Ivana Garmas, you guys. That's amazing. Really amazing. Then the yellow bird that was on my wish list as well. And a beautiful Paphiopedalum, which was once from uh, Danny, then it get, did go to, uh, over to Anna Maria, and now it's here at my place. That's very special, I think. Beautiful blooms. Very nice shape. They did damage a little bit, but that was to be expected, of course. But uh, both are uh, working on a new growth as well, so they will, uh, will be fine. But yeah, beautiful haul, I think. Very special one. So uh, I hope you all enjoyed it, and we will uh, do some updates soon, of course, on these guys. So for now, thank you for watching, and I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.